We are going beyond the headlines now after police arrested a driver following a deadly crash in southeast Portland last night. It happened near McLaughlin and Holgate. They booked 22 year old Isaiah Walker into jail on charges including second degree manslaughter. Our Liz Birch joins us live from where it happened. Liz. I talk to people who live and work in this area, Dan, and they tell me they want to see safety improvements made to this intersection before somebody else dies. So let's show you some video from last night. Police say in the case of last night, a Honda Accord with three people inside collided with a Toyota Camry with two people inside. They say the passenger of the Toyota died at the scene and the driver went to the hospital with serious injuries. They arrested the driver of the Honda. Just in September, police say there was another deadly hit and run at this intersection. They only found this man and arrested him. Neighbors I talked to today say there are constantly crashes here. I live right behind where the accident happened and we heard boom, which we've been here for like almost 40 years and we know exactly what happens when we hear that. Last night was just, you know, it's sad and I think it could be avoidable. Police had a busy night responding to multiple calls at once, spreading their resources thin once again. They say during the McLaughlin crash investigation, another driver proceeded into the closure area and nearly hit an officer. They arrested that person. They also got another call for a serious crash around the same time and a separate call for a reported shooting. In the case of the shooting, they actually had to send officers to another precinct because they say all of their central precinct officers we're busy. So bring you back out here live to this intersection. I asked both ODOT and PBOT whose responsibility this intersection and if they have any kind of safety improvements planned. ODOT says 99 East is theirs. Holgate, however, is the city's responsibility and they say if anyone has any specific inquiries about this intersection or any concerns about safety that they should reach out to them. Live in Southeast Portland tonight, Liz Birch, Coin 6 News.